<laughs> Fish small and hopefully catch big. Check that out. He's munched. Micro baiting, lovely trip. They're not bad on the Tansu, the light gear, eh? You want that? Boom! <laughs> Stay tuned. Should be a good one, guys. Sweet. One day of a glass off after weeks of wind. So, we've got to do it. John's here, so we've got to do something. Let's go find some fish. Tell you, Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another drift fishing video. Back in New Zealand, mate. Back in New Zealand. It's been a while. How good's this? Right, it's been a few years. Oh yeah, mate. Taking advantage of like the only nice day this whole holiday I've had. Mate, you've picked the worst weather in the way. <laughs> oh, it's come to New Zealand when it's cyclone season. Yeah, I know, right. Not that we have cyclones, but it's cyclone season. Yeah, or tornadoes or whatever else. Yeah, yeah. You guys had some shit lately. <laughs> it's been 40 knots for like the last three weeks. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we've managed to get out today. The plan in store is we're going to do a little bit of uh, micro baiting. That's the main target for today. We'll keep an eye open for some workups and anything else we can chuck a lure at, but yeah, we're going micro baiting, working the shallows, Real keeping shallow. out of the wind. Pretty tiger country around here, mate. Oh, yeah, she's Four or five meters of bloody rubble and crap. That's it, giving those tansuis and those uh, light outfits a workout. But yeah, fish small and hopefully catch big. Woo! What's in the lunchbox? I know what's in there, don't you take any. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey Mike, why didn't you use your EPIRB when the boat went down? Spiders. Oh. It's getting a little bit late in the season, but we thought since we're out here, we might as well hit a little bit of structure. See if there's an odd random kingfish hanging around, you never know. Gotta be in it to win it. Right, we need to move it closer to you. Fucking near sighted bus. <laughs> near sighted. <laughs> <laughs> Not that old, man. Come on. A few greys and you call me nearsighted? <laughs> Fuck. That's just a warm-up cast, all right? Just don't wonder whether you can reach that, man. Let's get a bit out of your range. Whoa! <sighs> oh, look at that, badoosh. These are my duck dives, man. It's so bloody good. Need to make these of whiting size. Little cast. Get us a kingy, bro. Get us a kingy. Unicorns. But this is New Zealand. This is where people come for kingfish, Mike. Watch big angry fish, man, and everyone thinks it's just made of kingies. Lovely. <laughs> Good deal, eh? Yeah. yeah. Hey, I gave you the option, I didn't tell you the wrongs. Teamwork, eh? <laughs> uh, we'll give this little fella a swim. How many hooks do you need to catch a fish? Lots. <laughs> Lots of hooks. Oh, the hooks. More hooks the better, man. Well, most people turn their nose up at catching a few kawai, but hey, you rather fish biting or not? I'd rather a bite, to be honest. We'll get a couple of these and then we'll have a look for something a bit more diverse. Oh, Mike's on already. One, two, hooked up. <laughs> yeah, I heard it jump. Oh, yeah, mine's doing the same. <laughs> Coming down. So I've got a sinking stick bait on here. Just a little one. It's not that hard really. Just cast your lure. Let it sit. Close your bay alarm. Once you start widening, look at that fish. Hey, fish on. Yeah boy. 
Not that high. Phew! Done. Been working the drift out deep, doing a few jigs under some birds, getting a few kawai, a few little baby snapper underneath. We've got to feed, but um, of course, about time we try something else. And that baby is going to go right in the wash. Now something I've been doing a lot of in Australia is fishing small baits. Now typically that would be a little bit bigger than what we'd normally fish for Bremen inshore species like flatties and so on. But um, it's gaining quite a lot of popularity. It's gaining a little bit. But what's gaining a lot of popularity? <laughs> but what's gaining a lot of popularity in New Zealand is fishing these small baits inshore. So rather than heading over the horizon, targeting the, the workups and fishing deep with your jigs and your sort of 40, 50 meters coming in close anywhere from 10 meters up to two meters chucking hard in against the rocks bouncing your lures through there and picking up snapper and all sorts of species along the way so what we're using today is an articulated jig with a worm hook these are by tt um, this is a quarter ounce but basically with the front toe point being on the front of that and being articulated as well that pulls through pretty much any weed any rocks very, very rarely you'll lose one of these unless it becomes wedged in a rock. And even then, when that happens, you can generally bounce it off. So it's a really good way to fish. You still can fish the open hooks. You just need to be a little bit more cautious with the depth that you're fishing and yeah, just be aware of what's around you. But very effective style of fishing. You do need a lighter rod for it. We're using the Tansuis by Ocean Angler. I've got 10 pounds. I think Mike might have 12 on his. But light gear, two and a half thousand reels. Fish light, bounce it through the shallows. Hopefully, pick up a snapper or two along the way. All right, got ourselves some nice structure here for the weedless jiggeds. Let's see what happens. Let's let it flutter down with the current. Is that our drift? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, mic's on. Mic's on. Bloody monster kawaii. The Tansui too. <laughs> Look at that, it's like a 60 bro. It's not a small fish. We got run the smoker. Bloody earth. Good fish. <laughs> oh sir, it's a kidney slapper. How's that for micro baiting? Bloody earth. Weedless up. Weedless. It's the way to go. Bommy Central. So you're gonna pull some coral trout off the mate. Old mate over here's got a good anchorage. Not bad. Oi. Oh maybe, don't know. It's pulling a string. Oh and I got enough drag on here to pull a 26 centimeter brim backwards. <laughs> hey you might go legal. Definitely legal. One for the bin. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely swimming like a trip. Might be a donkey, man. Not huge. Everything feels huge on the Tansui. Actually, one of the trip for sashimi. Oh yeah, definitely a trip. Good call. Lovely trip. He's going in the bin. Fish busting up, fish busting up. There, right there, there you go bro. There you go, go take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. A lot of white bait around. Might be in luck, Just chucking around a little fishing. Smallest one you can get. A great little lure of these. Sinking stick bait, wind it fast enough, it stays up on the surface. Rotation of the white bait too, oh, there's one, there's one. There's one. Oh, oh, right on them, right on them, right on them. Come on. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, that's the shot. That was the money shot. Do you see that, Lan? <laughs> Man, when you're not fishing for food, you're just having a bit of fun, 
nothing wrong with a car why especially when you sight cast them even better hey, 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 hey. They're not little fish either, eh? Yeah, these are your Oh, even better. Even better. Nice car, why? Let's get him back. Whew. He just did a full flip, bro, and landed face first. Mike, he's hooked up. Yeah, Mike is on. We chasing donkeys, are we? Yep. I haven't got the other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big red. Big red? Yeah. Uh, Nip me, please. Yeah, nice one. There we go. Do some micro baiting. A little weedless. Ooh, how good. Here's a nice chewer. They're not bad on the tans too, the light gear, eh? <laughs> Boy. Yeah, boy. He'll be illegally. Oh. <laughs> he felt a lot bigger than that. He fought a lot better than that. He fought a lot better than that. But, I mean, that's a good thing about these light rods, man. They make it so much more fun, you know? Sporting. A lot more sporting. Car wide busting up in front. See if I can get one. Just over here. Oh, yeah. He's on. He's on. Got the eat. Yeah. Oh yeah, now he's gonna wake up and go, what the hell? What the hell? Oh, it's a monster. He's been shark too. <laughs> gonna love sight casting fish, it's the best, isn't it? Hey, no, no, there's three or four of them. They're just chasing white bait around. So I just put the plastic to them and uh, yeah, how good. Oh, these 10 Stewie rods. Whew. They are good fun, they are good fun. Yeah, boy. He's an ugly car wire, this one. Tough, isn't he? He is a messed up car wire. Check that out. He's munched. That is totally fresh. Solid fish. Oh, bro, if you're that tough, you're going back. Latest. That was good fun, man. What you doing on the beach, mate? sitting on the end there. There's a little kingy. Hello little kingy. You want that? Boom! <laughs> How visual is that? This is how you teabag the kingfish. Boom! Boom! Oh yeah, he's on, he's on! <laughs> oh, sight casting little kiggies. Tea bagging for kingfish. <laughs> 